Hello, my name is Jerome Howard. I'm a solution consultant with 110th Consulting. And in this feature video, we're going to be exploring action plans in the Salesforce Nonprofit Cloud, which is a powerful tool that helps nonprofits streamline their workflows, ensuring key tasks are completed on time and with consistency. Now let's dive into what action plans are, how they work, and where they can be used. Action plans are a Salesforce feature that let nonprofits create standardized task templates for recurring processes. By setting up a series of predefined tasks, action plans ensure that each step of a process is followed, making it easy to manage complex workflows and deliver a consistent experience across the organization. Action plans are versatile and can be used and applied across various nonprofit activities. Some common use cases include donor cultivation and stewardship, ensuring timely follow-ups, personalized outreach, and ongoing relationship management with donors, program participant engagement, managing participant onboarding, regular check-ins, and progress tracking within programs, which we're going to be focusing on later in the demo, grant application tracking, organizing each step of the grant application process from research to submission and follow-up, Adv advocacy campaigns and outreach, coordinating outreach tasks, organizing campaigns, and tracking engagement activities. Action plans provide a roadmap for each of these processes, which help teams stay organized and ensure a consistent experience. Now let's see action plans in action with an example using a mentorship program in Salesforce. We'll walk through setting up an action plan template, viewing and showing how to add task, enrolling a mentee into our mentorship program, and applying the action plan and tracking progress associated with that action plan. And then we're going to close out and review the completed action plan. In this demo, we'll be showing how action plans can automate and simplify the onboarding process. As you see, we've created a mentee onboarding and engagement action plan template, and that's gonna be the first step when you wanna create an action plan. You, you're gonna to wanna to start by creating an action plan template, and we're gonna start by showing this process. So clicking into our mentee onboarding and engagement action plan, we're gonna look at the details section first, and the most important thing we wanna call out here is the target object. This is gonna be the object that the action plan will be assigned to, so, we want to identify this as we create the action plan template. Now we're going to talk about the tasks that are associated with this particular action plan template of mentee onboarding and engagement. As you see, we have two tasks already. Initial welcome email, which is due one day after the action plan is assigned. Then we also have pair with mentor with a prerequisite and days to complete three days after the action plan is assigned. But we're going to create a new task to talk a little bit more about that. So we're going to click, click the button new task We'll add a subject, uh, which is going to be the mentor introduction meeting. And we're going to say this is due seven days after the action plan has been assigned. We're going to say the priority on this is normal. We're going to require this task. We have the ability to add comments if needed. We're going to say for the prerequisites, we're going to say pair with the mentor is going to be the only prerequisite task that needs to be done before we can complete a mentor to our mentor introduction meeting. Scrolling down, we see that there is a task assignment option where initially the action plan creator will be the assigned to user. We also have the ability to select a specific user within our internal Salesforce organization. Uh, but for this example, we're going to use the action plan creator. We also have the ability to assign tasks to a queue. And then the last option here is a reminder, which can be sent to the task assignee on the due date at a specific time of day. We're going to leave that unchecked for now. We're going to click Save. And as we see, our mentor intro introduction meeting has been created and added to the bottom of our task. We also have the ability to reorder our task if needed as well, but we're just going to keep it how we have it right now. The, the next step we want to do before we navigate to a, a enrolling a mentee into a program and applying the action plan what we need to do first is publish this action plan template. And to do so, we would simply cl click the publish template button and click publish. And now our action plan template is published and ready for use. So the next step we're gonna wanna do is go to our program in Salesforce, which is called the mentorship program. And we're gonna wanna enroll our mentee into this program. And to do so, we're gonna use the program enrollments object. As we can see, Aaron Bass is already enrolled, but we're gonna enroll another mentee which is going to be Jerome Howard, myself. 
um, and we're going to add the account record, the person account record. And we're going to say this is an active program enrollment. Our status is going to be onboarding and our start date is going to be today. We're going to click save. Now that Jerome Howard is enrolled into the mentorship program, we can add an action plan for him. And to do so, we would use the action plans component here on the right, and we can move this anywhere on the page. Uh, but for right now, it's right here. We're gonna click new plan. We're gonna select our action plan template, which should be the mentee onboarding and engagement. We're gonna name this uh, Jerome Howard Mentee Onboarding. And in Salesforce, we have the ability to automate naming, um, so that manual work can be taken away as well. We're gonna assign the start date as today, and we're gonna say the status is not started. We're gonna click the next button. And here we get a brief summary of our action plan. We see our three tasks that will be assigned. We see the initial due date for the welcome email already being pre-populated. We see who the task will be assigned to, and we see that they're all required. We also see our prerequisites as well. We're gonna click save. Now that has created our action plan for Jerome Howard in the Menti onboarding program enrollment. And as we see our initial welcome email is due by tomorrow for the due date. And we can access this task directly and we can complete this task. Once we navigate back to the action plan, we see it's automatically updated as the status being completed and the initial welcome email was a prerequisite, so now the pair with mentor is available. And we still see that the mentor introduction meeting is in a waiting status and cannot be completed until the pair with mentor task has been completed. And that's how we keep track of the uh, task that are associated with the action plan. As we see, the due date has been automatically updated as well. And just to show a way of the internal users having uh, an easier way to go about their day when logging into Salesforce. There are components that we can use on the home page when a user first logs in. They can identify what are their tasks for today, this week, next month, and it just basically streamlines their day and allows them to log in and have tasks that are readily available for them. Now with all the tasks being completed and the action plan being marked as completed status, this gives the staff a full view of the mentee's journey, showing each step we took to support their engagement. It's a simple way to track progress, review engagement history, and ensure that every mentee receives consistent, high-quality support through their program. Thanks for watching this featured video. Action plans make it easy for nonprofits to create consistency and efficiency across many processes, whether it's mentoring, donor engagement, or program tracking. By streamlining tasks, Action plans help teams stay organized, providing a better experience for stakeholders and focus more on making an impact. We hope this overview has inspired you to learn how action plans can benefit your organization or your learning journey. As always, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn at Jerome Howard Jr. Thanks so much.